Yo, what's poppin'? It's the coolest in the game, you dig? Carlito Freeze, Rise of Freeze, the best show in the city. The jails, Lexington Market, Mount Vernon, Cherry Hill, around the world, Craig, you dig? And you know, we keep bringing y'all this content every day, on the day, YouTube, everything, Instagram, you already know what it is. Right now, I'm joined by the beautiful, astonishing, Roxanne Ramsey, a hero, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> how you doing today? Good. Good? Good. So I, I don't even I don't even know how you really came across my radar. I think um I just was getting a few more followers the more I was posting the show. I came across your page and I thought you was a model. I, I really wish. thought I really thought, you know what, it's this what's the girl? I forgot the girl from the movie. But you're like one of these girls from these movies. And I was like, yo, no, nah, is that shorty? But I was like, that ain't shorty. <laughs> I was like, but I saw that you uh did YouTube and stuff and you kinda made your own video. So I was like, Yeah, hey, you be dope to guy anything, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you could just like, you know, kinda tell your stuff how you got started and creating content. You know what I mean? Um, well, I mm -hmm. started looking at YouTube when I was young. Dial okay. up days, AOL. Wow, you got for me. real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, at the time, I had a My Touch phone. My Touch, damn. Mm -hmm. A little, a few years after, I got a My Touch phone. And Golly. then I just started recording and uploading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the time, YouTube wasn't like oversaturated. Yeah, so it wasn't. my videos really wasn't. would get like views. I got a yeah. lot of views in my videos. And then I got a boyfriend. <laughs> and he um, deleted my old Instagram because I had a lot of followers on Instagram. He deleted it, and then I got discouraged. I was like, "Forget it! I'm not gonna do YouTube. I'm not gonna do Instagram." Mm -hmm. And then I just started back up again. Wow. So, okay, real quick. So let's let's bring it back a little <laughs> bit. So, what company was that? My Touch Phone on, with? Because I it sounded a little familiar, but mine was um, T-Mobile. And it was and like the first touch up. screen. Oh, it those, like yeah. The slide up and type, the, uh, and you type on the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My cousin and had the, one of them. The Chopper video Chris. used to be like, it used yeah. to be like choppy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dang, that was that move, man. He was on that early. <laughs> wow. So, okay, and what was your first couple, your first video was about? My first video was um, a Brazilian wax. Me and my friend, we were so young, too. It blows my mind. We were like <laughs> 16, 17. Yeah. And we were sitting in the house one day, and I was like, let's just go get a Brazilian wax. And if you do it, I'll do it. Yeah, 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 and we yeah. went out to run the mills. And while she was getting it, I just started recording her. And then um, after I got done recording her, I just, uh, I didn't edit it, nothing. Just mm -hmm. straight to YouTube. Oh, yeah, and it got like so many views, like mm -hmm. so many. Mm -hmm. So did, so from there, was you still kind of just like, it was for fun? Or did you kind of decide after you kind of saw the feedback? That you no, it was definitely for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for fun. So I used you, to yeah. enjoy just like uploading. And at that time... I used to upload anything. Like yeah, now, yeah. it's like kind of got to be a little got, yeah, yeah. So, so what, what what moment did you see? Like, okay, this is something I can keep doing. This is something that I can expand on. Um, I don't know because I always wanted to do it. So okay, I never okay. really. So it wasn't really. It wasn't like a no turning point. It was just like it's just natural. It's kind of fun, and yeah, it just kind of. I always enjoy doing it. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. So. Man, how'd you feel when your boyfriend deleted your... You said your gram and your YouTube? He deleted my Instagram. What would you do? Like, I was devastated. <laughs> what I did was... De and, and especially same with Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody transitioned from Facebook to Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it was like one point where Instagram wasn't oversaturated mm -hmm. like it is now. Mm -hmm. And at that time, everybody was on the same level. It was no Instagram yeah, stars. Yeah. And then so I had a lot of people who are huge now mm -hmm. that followed me. They liked my pictures. I used to do a lot of modeling. Mm -hmm. I See, had I um, uh, Maybelline following me. Wow. Cover Girl was about like I had a bomb I'm Instagram. almost a star. Let me check my <laughs> jacket. It's American Eagle, but it's cool. You feel me? <laughs> um, he used to always say at the time he didn't have Instagram, he had Facebook. Okay. And you know, Instagram you scroll. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I would just spend all day just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And he was like, <laughs> You spend so much time on that thing, what mm. is it? Like why are you on it? And then he deleted it. So Do you think it was like another dude or something? Uh he just I listen, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so so hey, do you feel like uh <laughs> do you I mean you you single now? No. Okay, cool. No. So did you keep your phone away from your boyfriend now? No, because he knows. Okay, so my cool boyfriend with now is okay. like, you know, okay. we're here. Good, so, good, good. Because yeah. I was going to ask, like, you know, being a creative, like, is it kind of difficult balancing 
down to sometimes relationships because sometimes you you mentally are sometimes somewhere else it's a different focus it's mm -hmm. not it's not just like nine to five go home and mm -hmm. go out for drinks like it's it's a hustle it's a mentality have you kind of like had to make that balance mentally or at yes, least school somebody for sure for yeah. sure, for sure. can you got definitely... can you kind of get into a little bit without being too you know um so my boyfriend he is an entrepreneur he works okay. he does his thing so inevitably be inevitably <laughs> both of us are always on you know it's yeah, never yeah, like yeah. you're off when mm -hmm. i'm done recording mm -hmm. i'm editing all night i'm like sending emails i'm doing this i'm doing that mm -hmm. him he comes in at night and have to leave and you know both of us are always on so it's hard to balance time for yeah. just us you know but where you, we put yeah. everything down but y'all kind of do little things to kind of keep the space oh, yeah. there that's yeah. how you gotta do it that's how yeah. you gotta do it and that's the thing i think um i have a few friends that's as entrepreneurs or, or that the creatives in a way and they, they're trying to find the balance they're not mm -hmm. they're not understanding it because i think we kind of been taught to just like live like leave it to be or like good times mm -hmm. or like just you know go to work come home let's watch wheel of fortune and go to sleep mm -hmm. like <laughs> so what are some of your videos about about now like what do you i see you do a lot of cooking on the gram and i yeah. know you're gonna bring me a plate or something so i, I will my you feel me <laughs> <laughs> but like what yeah what um so what are some of your videos about now um i'm trying to originally i wanted to do makeup like makeup beauty content mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i like i said it's oversaturated it's yeah, like you know yeah. so i'm right now i'm kind of wiggling between different things to see what kind of hit okay and on my channel now like try on holes or mm -hmm. like that's where I get my most engagement. Okay. And then I'll like throw another video in there and then try to see and then it don't engage as well. So yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. But mainly it's like the same thing. Beauty, fashion, um, talking, running my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what do you kinda what do you like most about um, just creating your videos and creating period? What do you like most about? Um I I feel like I know everybody say this, like everybody say this, but I truly feel like I'm an introvert. <laughs> like, I just was having a conversation with somebody say and they said that, yeah. Hey, everybody say, I'm an introvert, I'm an introvert, and then you see them like, ah. Yeah. Like, me, I have literally three friends, and the three friends I have, I've had them forever. Forever, yeah. So I don't have, I'm not like a social same. butterfly, you know? Mm. So when I record, like I can kind of be you know okay. myself okay. run my mouth that's because, the advantage yeah and the way i t like the way i look is not the way i talk like i always told my boyfriend i'm i used to cocktail serve right okay and i work with all girls okay and the stuff that we talk about is gross like <laughs> how are y'all talking about this right now so um, that's how i talk to my friends like that's okay. just the way i talk okay and when I'm recording, I feel like I can do that because I can't just talk to anybody I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. They'll be true. like, "Girl, what are you talking yeah, about?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, so, do you like um? Do you go to like like networking events where you kind of have to like put on the game face and um, socialize? I have been, and yeah. it's it's crazy because the game face is not. You know, I just went to one recently, and um, the girl was talking, and she said be the person you are online because a lot of girls online are like women empowerment. What yeah. do that? Be that person you're online as you are in person. So yeah. if you're friendly online, be friendly in person. Yeah, true. And I was sitting there thinking like, damn, like, <laughs> I am not like a friendly, yeah, like yeah. I'm not a social, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, when yeah. people come and talk to me, well, wait, I'm not as bad as Summer Walker though. No. She's like, oh hey, man, it's, it's, <laughs> Yeah, cause I, I just started following her on the ground. Well, finish, finish, you, finish what you saying about you doing what we're talking about Summer Walker. Yeah, I'm not like a super social butterfly. Yeah, okay. So I'm not like, it's hard for me to just talk and, and then when I do it's kind of like not real I'm gonna be honest it's not real I would like give somebody surface level yeah, like hey, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. but like the sit and talk like I hate when people just sit next to me and they're like yeah bad weather out here it makes me cringe because yeah. I'm like ugh I gotta talk to them yeah, you know so bad weather. <laughs> you know how people do random Absolutely. stuff it's trying to start combo. Yeah. It's like, bro, we can. This silence is cool for me. Yeah, like, yeah. seriously, it is. So, so what, how do you feel? Just kind of like what's been unraveling with the anxiety conversation with Summer Walker, and then the responsibility as artists. What, like, how, how do you view that? Um, Summer Walker is a different. Mm -hmm. You a fan of that music? No, I you know I don't know any Summer Walker music. I only know her because everybody posts about Summer Walker. Yeah, I never so. heard of her either. I think yeah. the song she did with Drake. But then she's on Rick Ross' album. But 
Once I all these breaking all these records and all mm -hmm. this stuff, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, That's what's I know. Mean, <laughs> I, I need to listen to her though. But um, you know, just mental health in general yeah. in our community mm -hmm. is you. For one, here I go. I'm about to talk. For <laughs> you one, hear the, you hear the talk. <laughs> within the black community, yeah, women can't be weak. Mm. Cause our men are. Mm. Right? Oh, so <laughs> once you put that in a pot along with depression, anxiety, mental health, yeah. it's almost like women can't really have that moment because yeah. we're expected to be the nurturers. We gotta yeah. take care of our boyfriends, yeah. our dads in jail, you mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. So but yeah, that's a that's a whole other deep touch. Summer walk I mean she's you know, same thing with Kanye West. I say the same thing with him. People mm -hmm. say that he's so weird. And anybody's going to say that you're weird because you don't understand. So with right. her, she's definitely along those lines where right. the world is going to think she's weird, you yeah. know? So. Well, I think people think, um, like, anxiety and, and depression and things has a certain profile. Mm -hmm. They think you have to, like, wear all black and, you know, like, be ugly or you know, not be mm -hmm. ugly, but just have an ugly face on and stuff like that when... You can probably be the most successful person in the mm -hmm. world and, and still be in that way. You know, even I look at her gram, you can't, it, do, it doesn't feel like, I don't get the energy of, okay, like she's going through something. It's just like, okay, she's still yeah, got to promote herself through everything. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right? with everybody. So you're not going to post, you know. Yeah. How do you feel about just like the, the, the transparency that's going on with like, like social media celebrities or influencers or rappers to where it's like, you know, these situations have, even if it's like a Lizzo situation, like mm -hmm. these things are happening. We're kind of like talking about them or like, like they're in school with us. Like mm -hmm. it seems like, you know, social media has kind of made us feel like if I scroll down to my page and then there's a celebrity post under me, like we're kind of on the same playing field. Mm -hmm. Like it seems That's like true. there's such an entitlement. Like how do you feel? About that? Um, I agree. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a give or take thing. It's okay. a good or bad thing okay. because, um, I feel like along with actual celebrities, you have Instagram celebrities. You mm -hmm. have, and then you have people who have no celebrity yeah. who can look up to, let's say, um, let's say you had a million followers, right. but you can be right next to me. You know right. what I mean? Right. And then I can relate to you easier than I can relate to Beyonce because to me, Beyonce is a celebrity. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of different levels of celebrity. And I feel like people who don't have celebrity have more to relate to. Mm -hmm. Because obviously you're going to be more open than Beyonce would. True. That's yeah, true. So. so do you feel like, um, do you feel like uh, there, there needs to be a cap on how much we intake social media? Because I have a timer on my phone that tells me like, all right, you got five minutes left for Instagram and Facebook. Oh, that's be a hard question. <laughs> it is because I am one person. You should not see the time I spend on social media on my phone. It's like, okay, it's a hard question. Yeah. Um, yes, it do. It, yes, but a lot of people are working from social media. Yeah. And I just so go back to with my boyfriend. Mm hmm I was just telling him, like, it's so crazy. He'll always make fun of me because I'll be on my phone. Yeah. Then I'm done with my phone. I pick up my computer. And then I'm like, wait, I got to check. And he's like, you go through your process. It's like phone, computer, TV, mm -hmm. phone. Computer. And I'm like, he's like, you haven't even engaged yeah. with, and you haven't talked to anybody. Like, And I'm like, I can sit in the house. And so, I don't know. It might be an advantage, though, for you because you... If you are an introvert in a way, yeah, that's true. So that's an advantage. So yeah. you, you kind of got the, the good side. Of it. I think, I think personally myself, like aside from doing creative stuff and being involved with, I was involved there. I'm like knee deep in some shit. Like I'm looking at some pictures or I'm following a story or I'm just looking at my favorite rapper or something. And next thing you know, like 45 minutes to went by, and I'm oh, like, what yeah. the hell just happened? Like, what's going on? And I feel like it's a, it's a, it's all advertising. Mm -hmm. They're making us pay with our eyeballs. You know that is saying? true, but so, Instagram is that is true. Yeah. You're right about you're definitely right about that. We definitely consume a whole lot of because it went from TV to social media. Yeah, yeah. and I think what I did to kind of like to kind of like learn the balance, I took like seven months off of social media, like the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. and I came back on my birthday. My birthday's in July. And then I kind of had a different outlook and a different execution because I wanted to start this this brand as well. So I wanted to make sure that like, okay, 
let me just like do other things like read more books mm -hmm. let me kind of like walk around and and if i'm on my phone i'm just on youtube because mm -hmm. i've been on youtube forever so like i love the people i follow and all that but literally just social media like i straight away because mm -hmm. even you know when things go on in the lizzo or or just any conversation you should see a lot of ignorant opinions Oh yeah, you and, do. And not ignorant like nigga shit, but ignorant mm -hmm. like you haven't done enough research to even. Yeah. <laughs> you the comment section is dangerous. Yes. Like, yes. The comment section will take you out. Yeah. Like, it will. It yeah. is. It'd be hilarious, and especially because you can tell what a person's temperature is. Like if they're not like a fan favorite, you'll see it in the comments. But you know what I enjoy about mm -hmm. that is that you're getting the person because right, if you meet somebody in person, like I say this all the time. Typically, so with I used to work in a casino. Okay. Right. So in the casino industry is a large industry, yeah, yeah, yeah. and typically in the industry like that, at the top are white people, yeah. white men and white women. Yep. Women. They hire you. They're nice to you. They speak to you, and you know they're nice. Mm -hmm. Now I work with somebody who have a Facebook page. Anytime some type of black issue would happen, she would go on the Facebook page and comment, and but it would be like um. So there are like, um, I don't have Facebook, but there are like um, groups, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Facebook groups, yeah. So she would be in the groups and she may comment like, yeah, that's disgusting. Or those people are disgusting, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. And I know her and yeah. she's a sweet girl. I love her to death. She's mm -hmm. very nice. But it gives you like that, like, okay, so and now I know how you really feel. But yeah. see, the way that they think is, well, you're not like that. You're not like <laughs> that. You know, it's like, well, wait, bitch, I am. <laughs> never know it's that game thing yeah it is true so wow. definitely social media give you that though like yeah. it, you get to see comments are very nasty yeah, yeah. They are. and people be people be having like these bible scriptures and they be oh proportioned so God. well and i'm like this is only this the like button is destruction like it feels like they only do it to get comment likes oh yeah, yeah and it is sure. weird to me like i still use facebook but i have fun like i i'm a jokester i love laughing like so i don't really subscribe into trying to be so f philosophical mm -hmm. i used to try to be but i'm not like that mm -hmm. like i can't even force myself to do that mm -hmm. so it's like like you said like finding your niche and just being that yeah you know like uh i forgot I, I was talking to someone another day and she was like a negative comment on like her youtube and she deleted it and i'm like why would you delete the negative comment mm -hmm. i said you just want a, a video full of praise right. like, yo, no nah, like you might be some bots yeah, <laughs> something like true. you know when you look at your comments for your videos, like you don't really see like a lot of hate or anything. Like you kind of just cool balance. Well, the videos that I get the most comments on mm -hmm. are my try on videos. Uh -huh. So that's that's a different. You know, I'm not gonna get any yeah. heat for the most part <laughs> on there. But I have got like I've gotten people, um, guys say like I look like a man or something like that. For us, but it's weird because hard. I've heard this all my life. Really? Yeah, all my life I've heard nah. that growing up as a kid i was actually so backtrack mm -hmm. when i was young i always had long hair okay 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 going to school in the city with long hair was like eh, you know <laughs> so once yeah. i started getting that type of drama yeah. from girls i was like i'm gonna braid it so i used to braid my hair straight back mm -hmm. and i was getting on a bus one day and a boy came up to me he was like are you a boy or a girl and i was like sheesh Wait, hold up. <laughs> and that was when I started wearing my hair back out again. So, I don't know. Wow. I know I have strong features. And probably when you look, because I look at, first of all, here I go. This is why, this is why I have a channel, because I talk a lot. But, you're fine, you're fine. But, the way that some men look now yeah. is so well that sometimes it is hard to look at and be able to tell like okay is that a man or a woman oh yeah definitely. so i dig it i dig it i dig it. i can see you know i get it <laughs> i do it all the time i'm on instagram yeah. and then you know all of the fake body parts it's like wait is that a man or a woman yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so how, a question about how do you feel about like your plastic surgery and, and, and just you know cement cement asses and fake boo like and it's like it's booming in the last six, seven years. Mm -hmm. you, we hear plastic surgery and in the cold and all that. But like now it's like, you know, you really have to ask someone, is that cellulite mm -hmm. or the real thing? Like, how do you feel kind of just about the boom in plastic surgery? Um, I support plastic surgery. Okay. I'm here for plastic surgery. Okay. Get whatever you want to get done. Um, but 
if it looked good. You know what I mean? I don't know what else to say. I know that you people have, how can I not be specific? I've seen, I worked at a casino, mm -hmm. okay? So I've seen a lot of things in person. Yeah. You know, you see them on Instagram, mm -hmm. but then when you see it in person, because I always say everybody comes to the casino. Mm -hmm. Your mama, your yeah, daughter, yeah, yeah, yeah. daddy, your ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. you know, everybody comes to the casino. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of things in person where I know that it has nothing to do with the appearance. This is something on the inside yeah. that is wrong. Yeah. So when it's, I, if you're more struggling in that department, that goes back to mental health. Right, right. So you need to focus more on that. But if you are well aware of like, you know, that I want to change this and mm. I've, I've done my research, I know what I want, I know it's my good to then do yeah. it. But people who just are in a lifestyle and they see a friend get it, and oh, she makes money doing with yeah. that, so let me go get yeah. And then it just turns into, <laughs> it's scary. Mm -hmm. One of the last things, uh, what are some of your influences that you look up to? So it could be R&B, it could be YouTube, it can be a model. Oh, that's a very good question. And nobody ever asked me that before. Yeah. No, okay. I never thought about it. Let me see, people I like, you know, this is odd too. Okay. Because I, I love hair, I love makeup, I love all of these things. But I am obsessed with family vloggers. Family vloggers, okay. Yeah, so I love my um, Tiffany Darling, Tiffany the Darling. Davisons. Okay. Um, it's Judy Time. I've heard of It's Judy Time. Mm hmm. And okay. that's my girl. <laughs> Ace Family. I like okay. Ace Family. Um, Gabe and Bay TV. Like I, I may, it might be my age too, because I'm getting older. So now I, I identify. I'm not age. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> but I kind of relate more to mm -hmm. older women. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you know, whereas the, the makeup girls are a little younger. You yeah. know, and then I just get tired. I mean, this is oh, that sounds so bad because this is me <laughs> on the camera. But you know, I can't sit and watch a 15 minute video of. And then I'm gonna use, and then it, and it's just like I like to watch, like I like to support it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to actually like liking the, the person, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But true. I do like makeup girls too. I like Carly Babel. I like Amanda Ensign. Okay. I'm um, Jackie Aina. I like you know. I like I like people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's dope. So you know, I appreciate you rocking with me. You know what I mean? Just uh, anything else you got coming? Any little secrets? Any little. You know, well, not secrets, but any, you know, anything special you got coming that you want people to know about? Any, um, anything they need to look out for? No. I don't. Just I'm just keep doing, doing you. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube is my thing. I just do YouTube. You dig? Yeah. You already know. Rise with Freeze. Roxanne Ramsey, you dig? I appreciate you coming through. You dig? Holla. We out here. We doing it. Yo, yo. Oh, Hey, it's Roxanne Ramsey, and I am riding with Freeze. Hey. <laughs> What's poppin'?